I have a question, a language question here. What is the what is the pop soda distribution like in Canada? Is that is I mean I, I, like I the words pretty, themselves? Like who says pop and who says soda? Uh, I use soda them pretty is, interchangeably. Soda is the word that tells people that you should be stuffed into a locker. Okay, <laughs> that's gotcha. I think that's kind of like because, national. Because I always grew up saying pop when I was a kid, and then like we live different places, and different places use different ones, but it's. There's no real rhyme or reason here. But then like once I started teaching and like working with international students, I started defaulting to saying soda because like they didn't know what the fuck pop was. And so like I would have to use this word that they actually knew Um, the same way I started using the word sofa instead of couch because they didn't know what a couch was. I was going to say that I thought that pop was kind of like a universal thing in Canada. But then I also remembered the I was just talking about this like last week, the worst song of all time, which is, of course, uh, go for a soda by Kim Mitchell. Oh, yeah. And I mean, that's a that's a Canadian artist singing about soda, but maybe he's also trying to appeal to American audiences, or maybe he just mm-hmm. needed a two syllable word because people are like, "Might as well go for a pop." It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah. Maybe he just thought that America had a bigger problem with drinking and driving, and that was that was really who he thought he should aim his message at. I mean, drinking and driving is a problem, so. But I don't. I don't want to give Kid Mitchell any credit. I'm mad just that I had to think of him again. <laughs> Why do you hate him so much? He's the fucking worst. He's Canadian Steve Miller, only worse. What the fuck's problem do you have with Steve Miller? Have you I listened to any of his songs or read his lyrics? I didn't know who this person was, and now I don't want to that you've described him that way. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know. Who remember when Steve Miller are. rhymes? Uh, what was it like? Texas with what the facts is. <laughs> And yeah, you mean the best, most creative rhyme of all time? <laughs> yeah, because the only way Steve Miller can actually rhyme is when he just like lists off a bunch of cities. Oh my god, I hate Steve Miller so much. I'm, you've made me forget how angry I am at technology, and now I'm just thinking about how mad I, how much I hate Steve Miller and Kim Mitchell. So is this like the whole thing, like you smash your hand when you stub your toe, so that you think about the pain in your hand instead of your toe? Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Ah, perfect. 